good morning from the middle of the Caspian Sea. We're on a cargo ship to Kazakhstan, and this is our first full day. And we have no idea how many days we're gonna be on here. No. Last night was a long night, so if you wanna see that, check out our previous video. I'll show you guys how far we've made it in just a matter of a few hours. So we started somewhere about here, and we're gonna end up up here in Aktau. And we're like over a quarter of the way there, almost half. We've eaten twice so far. In the morning we had hard boiled eggs, some cheese and butter and jam. And then for lunch we had like meat and spaghetti and soup. We're definitely not gonna go hungry. And all of this food is included in the price. This was 160 US dollars for both of us for the entire time that we're on this boat. It doesn't matter how long it takes. They do stress that no matter how long you're here, they will feed you three meals a day. And there's also a tea time. Yeah. So we'll take you with us for that too. We're just on this boat with a ton of truckers. Nobody really speaks English, so we're not really getting any extra information. The cafeteria area is very small, so whoever we sit with, I end up asking, do you speak English? No. So we'll try, we'll keep trying. Before we take you around and show you the ship, let's show you what our room is real quick. It's so much nicer than we expected. This is a huge room. We got two beds, our own little closet space, and then our own bathroom. Look at this. Oh, there's a shower curtain. Yeah, I had no idea. Toilet, sink, shower with curtain. The only interesting thing is there's no toilet paper, but there's also a sign that says no waste in the toilet. So I'm thinking you can't flush it anyway, but there's a, a nozzle. This is gonna become more common as we go east. I'd just like to point out, I always have a stack of tissues on deck, so I'm prepared. Yeah, I will use true. tissue, put it in the waste bin, it'll be fine. I will admit, Nathan and I crammed onto his bed to sleep uh, for a few hours this morning because it was so cold in here. It's okay. We like each other sometimes. Yeah, a little sofa that Nathan's taken yeah. over. I have destroyed with all of my stuff. And a little desk. I think this is pretty genius, but the curtains wouldn't actually open. So we used what cords we had to make it look all pretty. Just for you guys. So we have a two men cabin. I think there's only two of them. There's ours and this one, and the rest are four. Really? you didn't know, the Caspian Sea is a very, very windy place. The water is known to be very choppy because of the wind. Oh, this is crazy. We're just going to walk around until someone tells us that we can't be in a certain area. I have no clue what's off limits. I think we're going to find out. Just keep going. There's got to be like a front part of the boat. I really hope we can try to find that. So far the only parts we can get to are the area with all the trucks, the reception, like seating area, and our small cafeteria, which is just the room with the tables where we eat. Our room happens to be like one of the closest to the seating area and the cafeteria, but we're gonna walk all the way down this hall and see if it opens up somewhere else. So good out. As of right now, this is all of the boat that we can show you guys. Maybe we can butter somebody up and let us upstairs. It's so much warmer in here than it was earlier. I don't want to make this any more exciting. I'm gonna try to show you guys how much rockings go. Whoa, that was actually pretty good. It's not awful. It's not as bad as I expected, but. You can't tell how much you're moving right now. Supposedly it's time for tea, but no one has knocked on our door, so we're gonna go check it out. 
That is how they notify you when it's time to eat. They pound on the door, say something we can't understand, <laughs> and we just know that it's time to go eat. Yeah. Yelling chai down the hallway. Yay! Look at that. Okay, go ahead. Get us some tea. These little things are so good. You finally managed to be the first people in the room, so you got to see it. It was really good tea and these really good little sugar coated biscuits that I have not actually had yet. Those were really good. I'm not upset about this bowl in any way, shape, or form. Once mm -hmm. you're on it, it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's about 6.30. We're just waiting for dinner. It's dark and we're looking at the map and we're just trying to like do the math to see what time we're gonna land. Right now it's looking like we might hit land around like 3 or 4 a.m. if we're lucky. From what I understand, it takes a very long time to be allowed off. Uh, the trucks all have to back out. They have to go through and give everybody their passports back. Yeah. It's a slow process. I just don't want to get woken up at 3 a.m. That would be the worst. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what's for dinner. So excited. Lunch was really good. The food has been way better than I would have expected. We just got back from outside. The clouds and the moon are amazing. Mm -hmm. Dinner was really good. Soup, same soup we had at lunch, and rice and chicken. I think we're just gonna get ready for bed. So hopefully we will see you tomorrow morning and not just a couple hours from now. Good night. It's not much, but we have reached land. It's almost breakfast time. I think we arrived here probably a few hours ago. We heard them drop anchor and now we're just sitting. This is the part where we definitely heard you can sit for several days in the same spot before they let you on the land. There she blows. It's cold, but we can see land. Breakfast was the same, hard boiled eggs are not the most popular eating partners to see. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. I feel so bad. There was two seats available. Someone else had set their plate down at a table. And as soon as we sat down, he grabbed his plate and went somewhere else. And then those two seats remained empty. <laughs> until the last guy didn't have a spot. Nobody likes us. <laughs> Anyways, it's cold. let's show you the other side. This is the flattest land I think I've seen in a while. Very, very flat. We accomplished our goal of sleeping through the night, but who knows how long we're gonna be here. I'm still on edge on if we're even gonna get into Kazakhstan and if we have to come right back to this boat. I'm gonna be disappointed because we have plans in the stands that we have to get to some other way. We just got back from lunch and we're still in the boat. We haven't moved at all and I don't think anybody knows when we're going to. We tried a different tactic for lunch when they knocked on our door. We gave it like 20, 30 minutes, and sure enough, pretty much everyone had cleared out by the time we got in there, and we were the last ones to leave. Yeah, so we ate alone, but it seems to be the norm anyway. <laughs> This team is hitting this spot. We have some bean soup, this is garlic, and then like some meatballs or something. And they keep giving us these weird drinks that, um, yeah. this is like a fluorescent green taste of victory. Taste of victory, that's what it says, I Azerbaijan. I don't know what that flavor is. I kind of taste like apple. Yeah, almost like a green apple. So we're gonna keep hanging out. Yeah. I'm burning through my Netflix. <laughs> if you are wondering what we are doing to keep ourselves occupied, we did download some Netflix stuff. And then otherwise we're working. I'm editing an unpacking video. You saw that a long time ago, but well, See if you. anything happens, or we move, or anything, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. It's 9.15. This is technically our second day. We just had dinner. <laughs>
I'm laughing right now because the food is seriously getting better and better. We just had mashed potatoes and chicken and then the same bean soup from lunch. But we're all just sitting here. We're all just stuck on this boat. We can see land. We yeah. haven't moved at all. We, yeah. It still could be 2 a.m. It could be, who knows? I have no idea. It could be another two days, honestly. Oh, it, yeah, it Yay. really could. <laughs> all right. So I think we're going to just put this away for the night. Nothing's going to happen right now. You'll get another update when we do. Four hours for the ship to leave the port that's south of Baku and to reach the port here off the coast of Kazakhstan and we've now been on this boat for 64 hours basically literally just stationary <laughs> kind of rocking back and forth that's it no further updates we're as close to land as we've been this entire time we've been on this boat for three days yesterday we didn't really film too much because well nothing really changed well, we were told at breakfast this morning that we should be in port within an hour or two and that was about two hours ago so we spent the entire morning packing and getting ready to hopefully get into kazakhstan we still don't know so best case scenario is we land we get phone service go straight to the train station and find a train today yes. best case scenario i don't have high hopes for that because everything that we've read and everything we've seen online everything's booked like weeks and weeks in advance but that doesn't mean that we can't find some cancellation last minute thing any train that we take out of anywhere is going to be at least a day's journey if not several kazakhstan is huge so it's going to take us some time to get across the country yeah are we off of this boat yet? No, but we did just have one last lunch and we were actually just told that it's time to grab our bags and head out. It's not a huge waiting room and everyone else is already just sitting out there. So we're gonna go stand around, I think for like the next hour or so, but <laughs> at least we're making progress. Let's go. Goodbye. moment the boat pulled up some guy looked up saw our camera gear and goes bbc uh, no tourism? yeah yeah, tourism. yeah. How, old you? how old how old how old you 30 so 30? my name is 27 my name is, is it husband wife yeah yeah <laughs> do, do you have the children no no, no children no, no. Children. How, how old 52 in a free day, I am 52. Ah, okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. We finally got our passports back, but we were told, just the two of us, that we have to wait here for passport control. I'm assuming that means that they come to us. I don't know for certain, um, but all the truckers basically got to leave. How old are the baron? How long are the We just got stamped into the country. No problems at all. None whatsoever. Oh. We still have to wait for everybody else to leave before we can leave the boat, but we can get in now. Yeah. Some military men came in. They've got these really cool boxes that do all sorts of things. They've got cameras and like typing and fingerprints. And uh, anyways, we're excited. The dogs had to sniff our bags and he tried to bite the little stuffed animal that I have on top of my bag. It was kind of funny. They weren't laughing, but I was. Can we 
we just try to walk off easy? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, well, we made it. <laughs> we're saying goodbye to all our friends back there. Now we have another well. challenge of uh, how to get into actual Actile, because we're not. You guys, we're in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Like, there's nothing. All right. We're going to end this here. If you want to see us get through Kazakhstan, subscribe and follow along. Yeah. The adventure continues. And the next video starts now.